Hey guys, Underwhelming Tutorials, welcome back to the video series. I've got a 3D printer for cosplay, and now what? Where I'll be going through most of the issues that I went through starting off printing cosplay, which was not that long ago, and I'll go through how to fix them. Today's topic is how do I smooth all these, these 3D print layers? Look, I get it. You've just printed this large prop and you finally figured out how to stick it together after years of raising your IQ. You look at it and you have an honest moment to yourself. But this is already the best prop I've ever made. I think I'll just settle for this and uh, just paint it like that. I know because I have this thought every time I make anything. But if you got three minutes of your time, just watch this video and I'll show you how easy it can be. The results may be shocking. So this is a prop I'm currently working on. I've got a deadline of about a week. And I don't have time to be putting putty on this and sanding it down and puttying it and sanding it down. The last prop I did, the putty actually made it a lot heavier than it was. Now it's common when you print something, I'm sure everyone's noticed that it'll come out with layers. Layers of where it's come out, like printed. These tend to look like bevels and lines that I like to call the mark of the 3D printed. Now there's nothing wrong with this mark of the 3D printed thing going on. But what I've seen, which is the curse of the mark of the 3D printed, is that commonly it will draw remarks of people when you're at conventions and they'll be like, Oh man, that's a sick prop! And then they come a bit closer and they're like, Oh, it's just 3D printed. There's no effort involved. This guy's just really rich, or gal. Game a girl or game a boy is just rich and didn't put any effort into this costume. Bet they don't even play the League of Legends or Oval Crap. World of Wow Crap. Crap. Now I've tried all sorts of body fillers. The results were a lot of them were too brittle and would crack even after being painted. And some of the things like epoxies just was just not worth working with because it'd be 50 hours of sanding. Here's my first ever props 3D printing and you can see, you can see, you don't actually see any of this uh, mark of the 3D printed. It looks like it was forged from the, from the anvils of Odin. <laughs> Here's one I did in two days and you can actually see that where I didn't sand it very well, it's got a lot of imperfections and dents and ins and outs and just just not as good as the other one so here's something that was suggested a lot it's a primer filler in a spray and it's usually used for automotives you won't find this at your local hardware store it'll actually be at anything automotive related so i'm just going to show you a quick clip of me spraying this all over my hanzo bow and we'll come back and share our thoughts about it So I'm gonna let that Hanzo bow dry for next time, but for now, I did a little accessory as well. So both are the exact same 3D model. The left is unprimed, and on the right, it's got the primer filler on it. So as you can see, you've got a bit of imperfections on the left one. The right one seems to smooth it out a bit more. And for, for the time spent and the money spent, it's I, I think it's really worth it. That's my personal opinion, but you know, the verdict is down to you. What did you think? So that's all I have for you guys. If you want to follow the series, make sure you click subscribe. And if you liked the video, definitely click like because I've got a few channels going and I that's the only way I can gauge of which 
channels is working more than others and like which ones I should invest more time in. So if you want to see more of this series, definitely hit that like. If you have the spare time, check out my main channel, youtube.com slash datbarker, where I upload skits, vlogs, cosplay related stuff and all that jazz. Thanks for sticking till the end. And as always, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Pieces. <laughs>